Hello, welcome to Fridge Cam, we are Sorted Food, and today is a very special day. It is an ultimate chef versus chef battle. And what's just happened is, uh, before we open the fridge door, Ben was rolling his sleeves down so he could make a point about rolling his sleeves up. Ready for battle. Welcome to the ultimate chef versus chef battle. This is where our two chefs take the simple task of cooking and make it as complicated as possible. This week's brief is all around Italian food, which is about taking simple ingredients and celebrating them without overcomplicating them. They only have one hour, and let's get it on. James is making an Italian antipasti board, including roasted grapes, homemade flatbread, homemade mozzarella, braised chicory, tomatoes, and I quote, loads of other great stuff. Ben is making blood orange scrapino with homemade limoncello, a sherbet rim, and a pistachio and fennel biscotti. If anyone disses my drawings, I'll equalize them. This is the biscotti. So it's flour, it's sugar, it's baking powder, a little bit of salt, and what I've ground up here is some fennel sugar. Ooh. Fennel seeds with sugar. This is going to be fennel and pistachio. It seems to me like James has taken on quite a lot. Thanks, Jamie. No, 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 no but Thanks. what I mean is, you all you might have to do is just get a finished dish <laughs> done. Or well, we oh, can just I make see. cheese on toast if you want. So this is milk with a citric acid solution in it. I'm taking it up to 32 degrees. This is rennet, vegetarian rennet actually. And then all you have, all you do is just go one, two, three, four. Leave it. If it freezes, this will be my sorbet, blood orange. This time of year, it's delicious. Like you said, celebrate the ingredients, yep. don't complicate it. So one other thing I'm adding, tarragon, with some sugar and a little bit of the juice until you dissolve the sugar, and then that gets added into the rest of the juice, and all I've done is whisk in an egg white. Can I just check, because on here there's a timer that says 57 minutes, 24, 23, 22. That's quite a long time. On here is a timer that says 51 minutes. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to serve it maybe two minutes before your time ends. OK. That's where the jeopardy is. Already he's run out of time. Over here we've got a nice little uh, snacking board oh, you can tuck into. No, no. You've got some lovely no. hams you could tuck into. No. Or, no. or potentially no. a grape, maybe, or definitely no. nuts. I've got grapefruit, orange, blood orange, lime and lemon. And I'm going to make some candied peel from all of them. You boil it once mm. in water, drain it and go back in with clean water for another 10. And then you turn that into a sugar syrup. The sugar syrup has to be the right ratio. Boil it until it's sticky and, and does its thing and then drain it quickly while it's really hot. Toss it in sugar and hope that it goes crispy and dry enough in the hour. What are you doing with the grapes? I am roasting some sable grapes and they're like super sweet but I'm gonna roast them with some herbs and I'm going to salt them a little bit so they're kind of sweet savoury. Ben forgot to put the lemon in the sorbet. This in the biscotti, juice in the sorbet. I have some caramel almost done, which I'm just gonna to toss with some walnuts and then leave that to cool. Um, and I made some balsamic roasted shallots. Roasting tomatoes, just a little bit of salt and pepper, keeping some raw, so it's like, Kind of giving a little nod to the simplicity of Italy, but just doing a doing a lot. Are you happy with the idea of serving a slushing? Could we put the machine in the freezer? Would that help it? I don't think that helps. 45 minutes to go. So my garlic will have three minutes to spare, but it's fine. It's all good. This is what I love. Mine is a lot of waiting game. This is now all about the garnishes, the finishing touches. My dish doesn't have a dish if that doesn't freeze and that doesn't bake twice. Blood orange zest with sugar and citric acid. I'm making sherbet. You know when you go to Italy? Yeah. You see the shops, they're lined up, or oh, actually, more importantly, the airport on the way back when you forget to buy it. Yeah. All the shops are lined up with limoncello everywhere. Yes. Yeah. We're getting limoncello, baby. Limoncello? I have no idea if it's going to be any good or not, because Ben's making it. He's make, you're making limoncello? Yeah. But if you don't do that, you can always just use a bottle that you've pre bought. So the jeopardy there is, if it doesn't go right, I'll use this one that I bought. It's a little update for you. My, my clock says 39 minutes. This one says 45. <laughs> I think this one's actually going slower. <laughs> I'm making pesto. Yes. It's just Parmesan cheese, pine nuts, garlic, and basil. So 
Something's beeping. Uh-huh. Something's beeping. Where is it? It's ready. Oh, figs. It's figs. The figs. Yeah. Roasted grapes. Roasted figs. Ready to go. So I'm just preparing tomatoes, fennel, shaved fennel, and some raw grapes. So number one, limoncello, Italian. Very Italian. Very Italian. So I'm looking forward to tasting this Polish alcohol that's going to go into it. And number two, 96%. It is exactly what we want for this recipe. So what you need is a jar. The key missing. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Go on, you can't. Nope. No, whatever. Nope. <laughs> uh, so this is 96% alcohol, which is what you need to draw the natural deliciousness out of the rinds of the lemon. Unwaxed, beautiful lemons, three of those. A couple of days later, maybe three, you get this. Ooh. That you then dilute, this is 250 ml, yeah. to a litre of sugar syrup. Gotcha. And you end up with limoncello. Ah, oh, it's that it's that easy. I had no idea. Oh, 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 ben, oh ben, ben. Ben. I see how all the nonas make it. <laughs> Get something in something. <laughs> so now I just break the cheese up using my knife and just cut a cross hatch into it. And then I'm gonna bring it back up to 40 degrees. Yay! And then I strain it. Making bread. And now I'm gonna put some chopped rosemary through it. This isn't biscotti, because biscotti means twice cooked, and this has only been cooked once. I need it to cool down just enough to be able to handle it. There are under 30 minutes to go, and the panic has set in. It looks scummy. I've put it into cheesecloth, just because it makes it easier to drain quicker. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, it's a timer! No. What does that oh, mean? Oh, I don't know where to put myself right now. Can I get it for you? Ah, oh! <laughs> It's, oh, it's in there, isn't it? Oh, who's the favourite fan of limoncello? Face. I like limoncello. Thank you. Mm. I mean, it's taken three days oh. to make, so we can't include it in the, you know, in the results. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's good. Yeah, it's got warmth as well. <laughs> what the hell? Can they help at all? No. Nope. Oh, I mean, you can get out of the way. I mean, no offence. I love you. I love you. Good news. Your sorbet only needs 30 minutes. Bad news. You've only got 24. However. Have you seen its viscosity now? It's cooling, it's getting there. Whether it will get there, I don't know, but it's getting Ew. there. Oh, that will look cool, that will look cool on camera. Now I've got time to kill, so I'm going to sprinkle sugar into a bowl. Now you've got time to kill. Wow, what? that was one hell of a step. 20 minutes. James, why are you taking the bread back out? Second bake of biscuits, it probably needs about 15 minutes. You have 16 minutes. Oh. Really loose balls. You don't want to work it too much, otherwise it becomes really stiff. And then this is going to go into the microwave for a minute. I'm going to take it out, have a look at it, and then 30 seconds at a time until it's stretchable. And the way you know that it's ready to stretch is that it's too hot to hold with your bare hands, so I'm going to put some rubber gloves on. You definitely don't need this caramel. What do you... No, you can't use my caramel. You can't use my caramel. It's my caramel. Yes. <laughs> ben, oh is this going to be goodness. the second thing on your plate that we can't judge you on because James made it? Well, James is proper stressing. Ben's fanning around over here with James's caramel, making twills. My stress is just internal, because there's nothing I can do. It's freezing, it's baking, it's bubbling. I'm just desperate Nothing I can do, happen. nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> with five minutes to go, this is James's plate. This is Ben's. Has it frozen? We don't know. We, we, we don't know if it's frozen, because he walked off. One minute oh. remaining! Oh. 10, 9, 8, behind you, behind 7, behind you, behind you, behind you. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, ladies and gentlemen, step away from your plates. 
That was a tight one. You know what time it is. It's time for the sexies. First things first. An hour. That was impressive. That was impressive. And tight. That's very kind of you. Right, okay. Um, I'm just gonna cheese. It's not savory. I'm impressed with cheese in an hour, James. I, I, I really just wanted to do something different. Yeah, mate, it's different. James, you made mozzarella. I did, didn't I? You made mozzarella. It has got a bit of that squeak to it, but with the salt, the pepper, the olive oil. That is, that's delicious. The sweetest and sours are coming from places that I didn't expect them to come from because of what you've done to them. Beyond just the colours and the flavours, it has every texture as well. The combo of the raw and the cooked, awesome. On to sweet. Like porn star martini, but in reverse. Prosecco's in the glass, the limoncello's on. A reverse porn star martini, it sounds more like a move. We can get some, get some, oh. get some, get some sorbet. Oh, fizz and smooth at the same time. As you can hear, very crunchy. The twice baked has worked. I took a tiny spoonful, but it filled my mouth with a froth. It is delicious, and it needs both elements. It needs the sorbet with the prosecco. Baz, we need to come to a decision between us as to who the winner is. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've come to a decision. Good, good. Now, mm. we've gone for the dish that we felt had everything. The flavours complemented each other very nicely. The textures were there, and then they were there, and then they were there. They added a little bit of fizz. But then they went and made cheese. And that is why we have to give the Chef versus Chef awards. What's the award called? Head, head Chef. Head, head <laughs> Chef to... James. James. Have I just been promoted? Yeah. Job done. <laughs> yeah. I suppose the big question is, which dish would you have picked? Comment down below and let us know. Um, I mean, you don't have to pick your favourite, and you could you could have them both. Yeah. Like one day we could do these at one of your supper clubs. They go well together, don't they? If you want to come to one of our supper clubs and experience this or something like this, <laughs> then you have to sign up to the club um, because we get to experience this every day. And you should too. Yeah, boy. Well, we need to know, do you agree, first of all? And secondly, what should our next chef battle theme be? You know what time of the week it is, Jay? It's dad joke of the week, isn't it? Right, so the other day I was doing I a little like bit of travelling. No, I, was, like I, I was doing a little bit of travelling. I was sitting in an airport uh, restaurant, mm -hmm. and waiting for my flight, and I thought, I'm a little bit hungry, so I'll get something to eat. So I was just having a look at the menu. And um, obviously I was looking at the sandwich menu. As and, you do. And uh, all of the sandwiches were named after aeroplanes. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is fantastic. I'm going to get... I'm gonna get the jumbo jet. So, I asked the uh, asked the waiter for a jumbo jet, and uh, came back a few minutes later with this really small sandwich. And I looked a little bit confused, but he walked away, and I was really hungry. So I thought, do you know what? I'll eat it, and I'll question it later. So I ate it. It was quite nice. Uh, and uh, he came back to collect my plate, and I said, "Excuse me, was that the jumbo jet?" And he went, "Yeah." Went pretty quickly, didn't it? One of your strongest. Well, no, because, because, because. Went pretty quickly. Yeah, because aeroplanes fly fast, don't they? Shut the door. Right, but. <laughs>